Hello everybody. Welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday from CAD Micro Solutions. My name is Rob Johnston. I work with the Metrology team here at CAD Micro. And today's Tech Tip is going to be using Checkmate for SolidWorks, a tool that resides inside of SolidWorks for merging SolidWorks MBD scan data to produce an Excel-based FAI report and doing that in a matter of two or three mouse clicks. In the uh, file that we have open in front of us here, you will notice I have a 3D uh, SolidWorks 2021 file with just about 10 embedded MBD characteristics on it. And this essentially defines the framework for us of everything we want inspected. So traditionally we would take this information, produce a drawing or send it down to our inspection lab in a uh, and have them produce this type of stuff for us. But with SolidWorks MBD, we can actually do all of this at our engineer's desktop right inside of SolidWorks. This is just, these are all SolidWorks entities and using Checkmate for SolidWorks, I have the ability to say, go ahead and write a nominal template or a nominal program. You can see it working down the browser there where it's automatically going inside of the MBD structure and defining all the necessary uh, GD and T nominals tolerances everything that you've you've already put on the model so it's kind of leveraging that information you've already put in there this is just one data stream one nominal data stream that you can use you can also import this from existing CMM programs or you could write it manually there's a couple different ways that we can get to this point so once it's gone through you'll notice I have a graphical representation but I also have a browser that shows me all of the features that were embedded in the MBD and if you want to simplify it I can also show spheres this is essentially what we traditionally would have done which was gone and write a CMM program to to inspect at all these locations we're not going to do it that way though even though we could output this to a CM program if we wanted what we're going to use is use all of these evaluation points, all of these predetermined features to, against a point cloud and automatically produce an FAI report. So I've pressed really one button so far, which was automatically generate a program or a nominal template from the existing MBD structure. The second step is to come in and load in the actual STL file. So I say load point cloud as a color map. I'm going to pick the, the GOM STL file that was produced. And it takes about 10 to 12 seconds to go ahead and load that. Um, and what it's doing is it's loading the file, automatically doing all of the evaluations for us. There it is, it's done. You obviously have a color map that shows you where your plus material, red, minus material, blue, and green somewhere in the middle. And this, the purpose of this tech tip isn't to, to take a deep dive into that. We can do that at a later time. Today was just showing you how we can quickly get from MBD to scan to Excel in an FAI. So I hadn't been explained, if I didn't have to be explaining all this, my, my third mouse button would have simply been, how do I take everything that it's done, it's done so much for me in the background, and produce a report out of it? And that's simply coming along and saying, I want to say, take my output. And again, there's a, a one button defaults that you can go in and choose which kind of Excel report you want to run. Do you want it produced? Where do you want it stored? All that kind of stuff. And then essentially go ahead and produce it. Go ahead and hit OK, saying use the data that's loaded. And it's done. And there it is. So this is a part that um, obviously has problems. It's, it's got lots of deviations on it. It's not a perfect part, but you can see that you automatically get the, the right GD and T symbology. The features of size um, shows you how it's being used, used material condition modifiers, et cetera, et cetera, and produced an Excel report. So as a real quick review, uh, it's really a three-step process and it's quite logical. The first step is to press the auto MBD button and you can see there it automatically generates an inspection program or a nominal template from the MBD that's been defined on the model. The second step was to load the point cloud and during the point cloud load, it actually loads the STL file from the GOM system, loads the STL file, which and automatically evaluates everything against the MBD structure that was there. 
Once we have that point, we do get a color map to show where, where the overall deviations are, but we just wanted an Excel report, and the third step was to say output Excel report. So very quick three-step process if you've got all of that information. I didn't have to go to my CMM department. I didn't have to do a bunch of things. It's that easy. Stay tuned for uh, CAD Micro's channel on Tech Tip Tuesdays as we uh, continue to show you new, new developments from our software partners to make your life easy and more productive. Thank you. Have a nice day.